What's up, y'all? It's a beautiful day, and I got David with Chorby coming over to take a look at my yard because it's gone to hell. So I'm going to have David come over. We're going to chat, figure out a plan for what we should do in the spring. There's two things that a lawn care professional can't help you with in your yard. Rabbits, there's not a whole lot we can do. We can give you advice on how to kind of minimize the damage they cause, and then heavy traffic. Heavy traffic like this, one, the the grass just basically gets pounded into submission, right? <laughs> and if it's and if it's over and over and over and over again, you know, if you have pets or dogs or anything like that, it's real hard to reverse it. You almost have to like go through a period of where you get it back to healthy, like this here, and then. But even this is your best case scenario right over here. Yeah. This right here is your best case scenario for high traffic grass. It's matted. It doesn't grow upright. It just kind of sprawls, you know? At least you don't have bare dirt here. Yeah. But that's, if you have heavy traffic, big dogs or kids, I have kids, and they just run and play in the yard all day long, this is pretty much what you're stuck with. For your soil to work and for it to work with high traffic, you probably would have to do a physical aeration, and then I would do the same thing. I'd get a dump truck worth of sand, fill in all the holes, and hopefully kind of loosen up that whole soil composition and that would prevent you from getting that really tight compaction or at least stave it off somewhat yeah what what is your opinion on just ripping all this crap out and putting down brand new grass or, or changing the grass because i have high traffic well you do have full sunlight so i would go with a really good bermuda i would go with something like a tiff 419 something that's strong that's going to be able to handle the traffic but you still need to stay on top of it whether you use liquid aeration or even core aeration um, liquid aeration should be good but i'd rip it all out i'd probably take the top two inches off of it and do a soil replacement so it's more loose dirt instead of clay and then put the sod down on top of it and then, of course, just a good, steady lawn care program to keep it healthy. Yeah. Obviously, we haven't done that. <laughs> we decided to get a second dog, and she is about 80 pounds and destroys <laughs> everything. You can see this. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. There used to be a plant there. Uh, there used to be a plant there. And this big hole used to be my wife's beautiful rose bush. Yep. Take home. Sounds about right. So not only do I have uh, really high traffic grass, and it's wrong grass, and soy zoysia, is that yep. you say? Zoysia. We have these lovely guys popping up everywhere. Yep, and you may have seen another video that we did about this. This is called Aster, and Aster actually um, pops up early fall, uh, and it's really, I mean, it's really woody. I mean, it is a tough, tough weed, right? Um, so the only way to really prevent this is to pre-emergence. Even if I spray this with a weed control right now, you're going to have this really crunching, prickly. I mean, I wish you guys could touch it. If you have any in your yard, you'd, you'd feel it. I mean, it's it's kind of a gross when you step on it. You feel like you stepped on a, a Lego block. I mean, it's, it, it's, it's painful and, uh, and uh, it doesn't have a lot of give in it. So uh, pre-emergence, fall pre-emergence, that's the best way to get rid of this stuff here. You can spray it, but um, it'll just leave behind all these, you see all these woody stems. Yeah. I mean, even after you kill it, you'll still have all these kind of woody stems in here. You have to come here and pull it out of the ground. So, yeah, you got quite a bit of it around here. Yeah. All right, also David just left uh, my house after giving me some great advice about what I need to do to my yard that looks dead. <laughs> um, he sprayed some pre-emergent on there to help with some, some of the um, winter weeds that may pop up every now and again. And he's really kind of prepping the yard for the transformation that we're gonna do in the spring. So that's gonna be interesting. And hopefully my dogs won't ruin it, so.